Hi, it's Catherine. Today we're going to talk about what you're actually selling. There are only three things. The way you deliver it may be different, but you're actually only selling three things. Hi, this is Katherine Morgan from Point A to Point B Transitions. And today I want to talk to you about the sales cycle for services and how you might want to be thinking about the way you position things for a prospective buyer. Because it occurred to me that they're actually interested in three things. And whatever you're selling, um, human resources training, uh, business process redesign, um, telecommunications expense management services, email marketing, SEO, whatever you're selling, your buyers thinking about three things. They're thinking, is this decision to bring on this person going to make me look good? Is what they're going to deliver be of good quality, helpful, make me look good in front of my boss, make me look good in front of my teammates? Do I look smart, competent, promotable from bringing this in? The other thing they're going to be thinking about is, is this going to get me some time back in my life? Is this going to take some things off my plate? Because if it's going to be a big time investment, you're going to have to tell them why that's worth it. But if you can position it that this is something that you're going to take responsibility for, that you're going to take off their plate and give them more time, that can be very compelling. The last thing, of course, is, is it going to save the company money? Are they going to get more money back in their budget? that they can pay for other things. Is your service essentially self-funding? Meaning you're gonna find efficiencies, uh, buried money in uh, vendor agreements or uh, expenses for things that you shouldn't be paying for. Like, do you know where to sniff around and look for the money that they may not even know is available? That's something people might buy. The holy grail is when you can hit all three of these. If you come in as the smart consultant who's going to make the buyer look really smart, if you're going to get them some more time, if you're not going to be a pain in to manage, if you're not going to be you know, something more they're adding to their plate, and if you can save them some money and make them look like they're you know, concerned about the company's outlays, you're gonna have a way easier time selling your services. Now, I hope that sparked some thinking about how you might go into your next sales call or how you might tailor the language in your next proposal. Uh, if you wanna talk about it, I work with solo consultants and help them compete against the big guys. Ooh, so let's talk. This is Catherine Morgan from point A to point B transitions, and this has been your Morgan moment.